Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Civilization VI on the PlayStation 4 Pro. All right, so I realized uh, right after we finished recording, I went and looked at the uh, tech, uh, the tech tree, and determined that there are canals. Uh, so they're not even that far away either. But look at this. They are unlocked with steam, I think. I think that's the name of steam power is the name of the tech. And canal. canals. So we can build a canal uh, to connect to the city. You can only build, I think, one canal. I don't know if you can have like a line of canals. Uh, but I think you can do one at the very least to the city. And then as you can see, the city already has, you know, mm -hmm. the start of what a canal would be. So if we built it right there, then that would connect the two seas and would allow us to bring ships through here. So we don't need to destroy Jerusalem, which is very good because I don't even think we could have put uh, a city there and it would have it would have worked because of the cliffs. Yeah. I could be wrong though, I don't actually know. But we don't need to do it and Jerusalem doesn't need to be destroyed, which is nice because it looks like it has some building stuff that would be useful to not have to rebuild. Uh, so that's uh, good news and we're gonna be launching the attack very soon, guys. I think there's just like a couple things left to do. Well, we have that that bombard that's like three turns away. I don't know if we should wait for that. I don't know, what do you think, Jinx? Yeah. <laughs> well, if we wait for it, it's three turns to get it, and mm -hmm. then like another four or five turns to get it over to Jerusalem. That's like a long time. Can it shoot across that water there? <laughs> it might be able to move over here and shoot across from there. That's what I was thinking, maybe. But even then, that's still many turns yeah. of walking, is what I'm saying. So, I don't know. It just it seems like it's going like to take too long. Valenius was eyeballing Jerusalem. <laughs> I don't know if they ever fight each other. Uh, who? The city states. No, the city states <laughs> don't. Don't attack each other, Jinx. They don't have to worry about that. I don't it's know, man. It's nice being a city state and then having to worry about the player. Mm hmm. Yeah, and the player attacking you. I just feel like. And they have walls, so we do have to attack walls, but I don't know, they just don't look too challenging, honestly. <laughs> I guess there is this crossbowman who would probably want to engage outside of the city. Uh, could we attack from... I guess we're going to move this guy over here. And if we could engage that crossbowman while he's outside the city, then we could probably uh, get him defeated. Uh, let's see here. If we just start out by killing him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the city established here. Bradford, that ain't Bradford. gonna work. We need a name for a cold place. Maybe, mm. uh, like, something from Scotland. Maybe, I was thinking, I was thinking something from Scotland. Name Scotland. <laughs> well, Wrong Scotland's not a city, but... but no, but... I uh, could name it after the Scottish capital. I mean, there's a lot of choices, really, what we could do here. Uh, so what I want to do is get the builder started on getting us the, uh... Furs. Poor foxes. Mm -hmm. Poor foxes, man. Just living their lives. And then we came in here and scammed them. Mm -hmm. Well, they shouldn't be so soft. Uh, if I were a fox, I'd take very uh, shitty care of my. Another dad. thing that a mistake I made is I had the. I was thinking that little icon, the blue icon, uh, for the the eras, the mm -hmm. ages. I was thinking that was the one for the dark age. That's not the dark age one's like a black one or whatever, and so. The other countries are not in dark ages. They are in uh, just regular, in just regular normal mm -hmm. age. I'm trying to find the stupid age thing. I always forget where the hell is that. So yeah, they had the little blue icon. Yeah, oh, it says okay. right there. A dark age is the little half moon, dark moon looking the thing. Black one. Yeah. So they are in a normal age. I just wasn't uh, looking at the icon correctly. I see. I think what messes me up is down there at the bottom. That's how many uh, points you have to get to get to a normal age. Oh, okay. But you're in a dark age unless you get that many points. So I guess I was thinking that was the dark age symbol for some reason. It does look shady. Yeah, it looks like something you'd have a dark age. Uh, it looks like what a dark age symbol would look like. Uh, so yeah, if we wanted to attack this this turn, there'd be a lot of good things to doing so. They're, you've, they've got their catapults outside the city, which mm -hmm. means we could easily destroy them with this guy. Uh, so that would be an option. And then we can start bombarding with the bombard and then use this guy to come over here and attack them or this guy could attack them. I don't know. It feels like attacking this turn <laughs> would probably be a good thing. Live your life, man. <laughs> I just don't I just don't want to wait for him because uh, it's going to take so long to get him. Yeah, I think we might, might go ahead and just do it, guys. Just attack. Yeah, yeah. I just always feel like I need more units than I actually need. Mm-hmm. 
because I want it done. Well, I mean, if we waited for the Mombard, we would be able to do it quicker. Yeah. Yeah. There would be uh, certainly some benefits for waiting for him. But if we take the Crosswoman mm -hmm. out, then that means they can't kill our units in yeah. two, three turns like they can when they have two units. So that's what I'm thinking. So I think we are going to declare war, guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish up all the stuff we need to do. Like, we just got the armory. Uh, so let's go ahead and get whatever else we need to get. Uh, we could get a district here. Uh, there are wonders as well. Just there. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What's this? Terracotta army. All current units gain a promotion level. All archaeologists from the owner may enter foreign lands without open borders. And... Okay. So that's pretty much it. One plus great general point per turn. So that's nice to get. All right. Everybody getting promoted would be nice, but yeah, that's 17 turns. Yeah, that would take a while. Do we have anything else that we were wanting to build with them, though? Build with what? With New Market. Well, like, you mean wonders? No, I just meant, like, buildings or... Well, yeah, we would have gotten the industrial zone next so that we'd have higher production. Uh, I guess we could always get the production one first, but it takes it takes 13 turns yeah. to get an industrial zone, guys. I mean, we can try and get it, because... I mean, well, let's let's yeah. just try it. We'll see what happens, guys. It would be nice to get, you know, some wonders in other cities other than London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, York has wonders. Yeah, York's got, what, two wonders, I think. Uh, so, where would we place this? Let's see, where do we want to place all our districts, I guess? There's, there's a mountain right there. So, that'll give mountain bonuses for districts. Uh, there's no other mountains. Yeah, there's no other mountains here, guys. So, I guess we'd want it on this side somewhere. But you can't place it. It needs to be next to that. Mm. Mm. And yeah, you can't get that because it's bonus resource. So I guess could put it there and buy that slot. Yeah. We have the money. So I guess there'd be that benefit. And then that would give us, uh, if we put something right here. Uh, so like we could put the uh, one of the districts that gets a bonus from mountains here. And then one that gets bonuses from uh, wonders right here. And then it would get the bonuses from both. So I guess that's an option. I guess we'll do that. We'll buy the spot and put it right there. All right. And hopefully somebody doesn't snatch it. From yeah, because I think that one's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it might end up getting wasted. But we'll try. We'll see what we can do, guys. Uh, so water mill completed here in Newdingham. So we want to get them next. Why can't we get the medieval walls? Oh, the ancient walls must be repaired. Oh, did they get damaged from the They did, flood? but why is the uh, that not an option? Yeah. Oh, we just gotta wait for it to slowly repair. I okay, see. I see. So we won't be able to get that yet. That's not an option. Uh, so we could take a look. And we could finally get a spy. That's 24 turns in this city, though. Good God, that's that's a long time. So I don't think we should do that. It's a long time to tr properly train a spy. Well, we need another builder to take advantage of all these, all this stuff here. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have a builder going over there. All right, so we're already getting a builder. We'd so I guess we use another one though. You think so? Yeah. I mean, we got to get the two rice spots. I guess there is a lot of stuff to be taken advantage here. Are we already working that copper that we acquired? What copper? That one? Yeah. It's too far away. We weren't gonna work it. We were gonna do. Oh, that's right. We we're gonna we're destroy gonna harvest. it. Harvest. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna harvest. I think it's a bonus resource because you can only harvest the bonus ones. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we could we could harvest that. So yeah, that's what we were gonna do with that, uh, which we need a builder to do that. Uh, we could also go in and get a district uh, started. That'd be an option as well. Uh, or a dam. <laughs> or yeah, or a dam. Since but Damn. that's forty two turns. <laughs> yeah, uh, they that takes suck a at long that. Time. All right. Well, let's go in and get. I think this place has a has does need a another builder. We'll get another builder. That's fine, guys. You can never have too many builders. We could also just purchase one too, though. Let's just build them though. All right, uh, so... That gold is just burning a hole in your pocket. What else are you supposed to do with it? If you're not buying something with it, then... Collect it and be like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, so rich. Well, you know me, Jinx. I'm all for, like, uh, saving money. <laughs> I guess we're going to get the, the granary here. They're probably going to need it. Yeah. yeah oh, I forgot about this guy. You can see how <laughs> slow they're oh, growing. Oh, yeah. We might be kind of... A, a goodie hut. hut. We can't get him though. No, we need to have like a scout come over Damn. here and get it. There's no way to get it. Just a single lonely goodie hut. Uh-huh. Well, at crazy. least we know it's there. We can send a scout over there <laughs> if we wanted to. Uh, so, uh, the horse guy. Is there any bandits around here I need to worry about? No. no. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and start moving him back home. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. I guess escort the next 
satellite we're gonna build which we don't have one building just yet we did discover a new continent uh and we're calling it atlantica okay okay and then we found the tribal village all right so we have three governor points because of the is that from the wonder we had gotten shit i don't know i don't remember where oop i didn't mean to end that <sighs> damn it <laughs> it's too easy all right, uh, yeah, I'm not giving that to you. We'll have to make sure we spend our governor points next episode or next uh, turn, guys. Oh, I was gonna declare war on Jerusalem. Ah. God damn it! I didn't mean to end the turn though. Yeah. What happened is, you know, and they get went to the fucking city. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, that. he's back out, <laughs> and that guy got farther away. All right. Okay, uh, we'll do it this turn then, guys. And I guess that gives the bombard one more turn to. To get built. The catapult will come back when she started attacking, I'm sure. Alright, so let's go ahead. Well, I want him to get further away. So that I can use the frigate, mm. if we need him to, to attack the cro the crossbowman. And then uh, that guy can't get back home. So that next turn we can use the frigate to destroy the catapult while it's in the sea. And very easy to destroy. Uh, and London was supposed to do this military aid request. As soon as we done, we're done constructing that. So make sure I don't construct anything else, Jinx. Because I want to get that completed. Because we're actually losing this. Oops. God damn it. If we look at this. Here, there's only two of us competing for it. And they got 200 points, which I'm guessing they got from doing the uh, that, that uh, military they aid. money? No. No, I think they did it from... I think it gives 200 points. Uh, exactly. If you, if you construct that project. So we'll have to do it, too. Uh, so what the hell was I doing? How are we supposed to do it right now? I'm like lost. Oh yes, yes, Governor. Got distracted, guys. And then you distracted me. <laughs> oh, that's great, people. Religion. I'm just gonna click them all. All right. So three Governor points to spend. We'll probably want to get a new Governor. Uh, there's this guy. Twenty percent growth in the city. I guess that would help with some of the cities that are having trouble growing. So we could get him. Uh, the steward. Do we have any bonuses here that we really want to get? Uh, this allows the city to purchase districts with faith. Oh. Uh, this apostles. Okay, so that doesn't really help us there. We need some warrior monks. 10 plus religious strength and theological combat. Okay, so that probably wouldn't help us much either at this moment. All right, so nothing really for the cardinal. Uh, the financer. 2 plus gold for each, each term per citizens in the city. That would be useful to have. It looks like we haven't taxes. gotten either of these ones yet for her, uh, which this is two plus gold from each unimproved feature. This is a double adjacency bonus. I think we should get the double adjacency bonus. Let's go and get that. And uh, we could go ahead and get the two plus gold for each uh, citizen in the city. But if we want to get the steward and make him useful, mm -hmm. because this 50% uh, yield doesn't really help much, I think we should get this one. So let's go ahead and assign him. Where's the city having the most trouble growing? I would imagine it's going to be this city that we just built. Yeah, because there's no food down there. Yeah, there's not a lot of food down there. Uh, they're on Tundra. I think we should probably place him down there, guys. Just looking at other locations. He's going to be so happy. <laughs> uh, Portsmouth, I feel like they're fine. And then yeah, Athens is fine. Let's, let's go ahead and put him down there. He's not going to be happy that we're putting him in there. <laughs> We need to get some names for these places. We still haven't named that one either. Though I'm actually fine with Liverpool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but that one, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think Bradford fits, man. So I think we need to rename that. Uh, we still have uh, one more point. Let's go ahead and get that assigned to the steward, uh, and we're gonna give him the twenty percent growth in the city. And there we go. Uh... Excellent. Uh, so they'll hopefully grow quicker once he's officially assigned. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing this attack, guys. We're going to declare war on Jerusalem. Uh, and that does generate 50 grievances. Okay. I will. And does that give... Oh, that does give up all of our things. I think that's going to make us go to war with Suleiman. I was worried that would end up happening. Can we levy his military, too? <laughs> yeah, we're going to be at war with Suleiman now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a shame. I thought it might happen, though, happen that way. So we need to get them destroyed as quickly as possible, essentially. And that didn't work. No. Damn it. Uh, he must be on a hill. Yep, he's on a hill. Damn it. Shit. Oh, we're so close to killing him. <laughs> Fuck. That sucks, guys. 
All right, so that's a real shame. He's just gonna retreat to the city now. And which means that we are gonna have to fucking fight him. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that did not work out at all. Catastrophe. Yeah, I didn't realize that he was on a hill and that this unit wouldn't be able to attack. All right, well, it is what it is, guys. Uh, he can't fire on him, can he? <gasps> he can't. All right. What's it? Oh, he has three range, oh, doesn't damn. he? He can shoot far. So he could actually move back and then the city can't attack him. Okay. Uh, but might as well use him to destroy the... Oh, it didn't work. Hold up. Oh, maybe he uh, does. Oh, he only has two range. Okay, I don't know why I thought I could attack him. Why is he acting like he could attack? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> He's trying to see things that weren't there. Look at how much nice. damage he did to the city. That's why I wasn't too worried about it, Jinx. Uh, and Auckland has declared war. Uh, so he's going to become, uh, since he's the Caesarian, he is going to join the war against us soon. But we do have a knight and a crossbowman here to protect our borders. We'll see if that'll be enough. Do you think he's going to actively fight the war? Yeah. I don't know. Because, I mean, how many troops could he have? Because he's had to fight. He's in trouble. Yeah, he's been having to fight. So we could go and attack here. Uh, I don't see any reason not to, I guess. Uh, we could also go ahead and give them, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to give him the siege tower. If the siege tower can. Let me see. Can the siege tower move? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Look mm -hmm. like he moved all his movement. Used all his movement points too. Okay. All right. Let's just go and attack then. Ha and look at that, man. Yeah, we should be able to take the city fairly easy, guys. Uh, so we don't have a settler getting built anywhere. So we're going to want to do that soon. Uh, let's go to move the the knight up here, I suppose, just in case. Oh, that's not a knight though. No, that's just a, a regular pony. old pony dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, All right. but he's not just any pony man. He's been through a lot. He's a veteran, isn't he? Well, he's been leveled up a couple times, but yeah, he's all right. Uh, we probably should get some farms here, I guess. So rude. What? <laughs> That man has fought and bled for you, and you're like, he's all right. Well, I'm saying, like, he's, he hasn't, he's not like, uh, you're thinking, like, maybe he's like this guy. This guy's a veteran. He's been around for, like, hundreds and hundreds of years. That guy we built towards the end of the Greek War. Remember we built him right here when that guy mm -hmm. was, uh... I remember. I mean, he did some good stuff for us. I'm just saying that he's, I wouldn't say he's, like, been around for a long time or anything. Uh, so we want to get a farm. We should get ourselves, so, or we could go ahead and purchase that sheep tile. Does that give food? I suppose we can do that. Just purchase us the tile right here. 135, what else might we want to get? There's copper there for production. I need food. Yeah, let's get the food here. And then we'll have the uh, builder run over there and get those sheep for us. All I right. that goody hat. I do too, man, it's bugging me. I feel like we should have some marines on board that we can send. It looks like there's land to the south there of the island. There might be. Yeah, there could be. There's like waves crashing on something. But I went to go, oh, I wanted to go discover right. this uh, continent that Norway's on. And if they're like threatening war with us, we should at least know like where their lands are and shit while we still can. Sail if... our ship by them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some great white fleet type of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flash our asses at them. <laughs> Yeah, we got some nudists on board, guys. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I think Jerusalem's going to be taken fairly quick. The question is, though, yeah, if uh, they do go to war, oh, and they got ships coming across. Maybe we're not at war with them. <laughs> I thought, like, when you declared war on somebody and if they have a Caesarian, that that will pull them in the war as well, but maybe not. Uh, and they want some iron. We're not going to give you guys anything. Hey, nope. Not you, man. Mm -mm. Not you. Yeah, I don't want to help him defeat the Ottomans. Yeah, maybe the Ottomans won't come into the war, though. Yeah, they got him back to the city, unfortunately. So that sucks. So now they're going to tear that guy up. It's really unfortunate. Although the city didn't attack. No. Okay, that, that probably was the city attack, and the crossbowmen didn't attackers. attack. And after creating bombards, you realize, so yeah, we boosted that because of the two... Bombards. But yeah, we should be able to take this this turn, in fact. Yeah, definitely. We are, like, uh, way ahead of them on tech. <laughs> and then we'd want to attack with this guy here. Although that doesn't really matter because I don't have any walls. Good and uh, there we go. We've already taken Jerusalem. Ours now. 
And we got a trophy, Voyage of the Mayflower. Is this a different continent? I wonder. If that's another continent, and that's the reason why. Uh, but we now have Jerusalem. And also, there was another eruption over here. That one seems to erupt kind of often, yeah. doesn't it? So, of course, need lots of more amenities. For everyone. Uh-huh. Uh, we completed two city-state quests. I don't know what those were, but we got two of them, so I got us like two Jerusalem, envoys. I guess. I don't think it was related. <laughs> I think one of them was for getting the bombard. Uh, and... Yeah, I think one of them was related for getting the bombard, and the other one was maybe related to that tech we got. Perhaps. Oh, or the boost to the castles. Yeah, maybe. Uh, city captured, Jerusalem, we're gonna keep the city. And I wanna see what they have here already. Uh, so it looks like they have uh, the Royal Navy Dockyard. Uh, mm -hmm. So they've constructed that for us. And they have the uh, the Holy Site. All right, well, there'll be more faith. Although, I think that's on a hill, right? Yeah, that's on a hill, I would've rather put a, yeah, we might. Yeah, we might just, well, you get the bonus for the mountains. Never mind, I see why they put it there. All right. Like, I guess you know what you're doing. So we won't be able to move our ships through here yet until we get canals, so we might want to prioritize that. Uh, but let's go ahead and figure out what we want to get constructed. So London just got the free spy from getting the intelligence agency. We could get one more spy in five turns, but didn't we talk about getting something else oh and that's right we You're can get another traitor um doing that mission for giving aid to suleiman oh yes that's what it was i knew i was gonna forget yeah let's go ahead and do that we're gonna do it in london just because london can do it so quick guys uh they do it in three turns is anybody almost else almost done with their construction or whatever they're uh building we could always do it in athens i wonder how long athens would take or even portsmouth so that we don't have to do it in london Let's just take a look here. We also have two more trade routes available. I think one of them just finished up their route, so... Oh, I see. That's one of the reasons why it's available. Uh, so... What am I doing? Yes, that's right. We want to take a look at how long it takes to do the project. 11 turns here in Portsmouth. Goodness. Yeah, that's quite a long time. And there's only 16 turns left to do that. What about Athens? How long would it take to do it in Athens? Projects? 17 turns. All right, long time. Okay, let's do it in Portsmouth. It's fine, even if it'll take two turns. Or, uh, excuse me, 11 turns. All right, so let's go ahead and complete that. And then uh, that will allow us to build something else in Athens, since there's London. all... Or London, excuse me, uh, and in Athens. Because, uh, yeah, we want we want a lot of stuff here. Uh, I feel like we got to get that damn university, man. It's about <laughs> time. Yeah, that's been, been around. Yeah, that's Quite. been an option for a long time. Mm-hmm. All right, so this unit's done here. Uh, let's just go ahead and... It doesn't really matter what he does at this point. Just sail the non-open seas. <laughs> yes, yeah. we'll just go here, I guess. Put him sleep, I guess. All right, uh, and then we got that bombard done that we never did use. Who would we be fighting next, I Shit, guess? I don't know. Either the Mongols or, the, or them up there, the uh, Ottomans. So let's move him in preparation for if we have to fight, fight the Ottomans. Although, yeah, that's a good idea. he's gonna get irritated about us being on his border, though. True. You're like, why you got all them troops there, mm -hmm. huh? So this is the trader that did complete his, uh, his route. And so we need to find out where we want to send him next. Let's go to the trade route overview. Impossible available routes. Let's see what options we have here. What's most profitable options? Do we need a road down to Bradford? <laughs> we could use it road, but again, man, I just don't feel like it's worth using a trade route. Like yeah. the amount of money that you get for trade routes, it just doesn't feel worth it to, to waste to, to get the roads. Uh, so who was this, this up here? These were all ours. Okay, so we wanna look down here. Uh, so from Suleiman, of course, to Istanbul is where we get a nice chunk of money I'm doing trade routes to that city. Just looking at other options here, like to Genghis Khan, which we don't get as much for sending routes up to him. Because he's a jerk. I feel like Istanbul probably has like either a lot of districts that are getting us the gold, or they have like, it's maybe some type of wonder or something that's getting us the gold. Uh, this is 12 gold here. Uh, to their, their city. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as much as Istanbul, but that's not too bad. Uh, and then we got the city-state the city ones. And uh, somebody told me that 
there's a little icon here that tells you if they have uh, if they have a mission for getting a trade route. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so this would all give us culture, production. Auckland's a nice chunk of money from Jerusalem to Auckland. You can get a good chunk of money there, and then you're not giving anything to, uh, to you know, one of these countries. Mm-hmm. So you're not helping them out. I think we'll do that round. How many freaking cities does Mongolia have? A lot. Yeah, they're they're extremely powerful, Jinx. Which is probably why we don't get very much from them, because they're all spread out. So we're going to do Jerusalem to Auckland, which means that we're going to have to move this. Oops. Move this guy to Jerusalem. All right, uh, we've got our spy. Uh, well, we also have this crossbowman here that I'm just gonna, I thought he was already dealt with. All right, so we have a spy here. We haven't got to use these yet. So we can just set him up as a counter spy. So I typically like to always set up one spy to do counter spy missions in the capital since it's where all your wonders and all your districts are and stuff. But since I don't expect that everybody's got too many spies at this point, uh, I think we're going to send them on an offensive mission. So I wanted to show you guys the Civilpedia and all the different options that are available besides the counter spy mission. So you can disrupt Rockerty uh, at a spaceport. Obviously, we won't be doing that anytime soon. Uh, gain sources, a great work heist on a theater square, a listening post, uh, recruit partisans in a neighborhood, sabotage production, industrial zone. You get the, the you get the, the gist of this, guys. It we depends could, on what what uh, district you put them in. We could do a heist on Suleiman since he doesn't want that work anyway. That great work? Yeah. Was he trying to give us a great work? Yeah. No, I think you're thinking of Athens, Jinx. I don't oh. think he's ever offered us a great work. Yeah. Yeah, you're thinking Athens, Jinx. Suleiman's a douche. Yeah. He just wants things. Uh, so we can take a look and see. I mean, you got a holy site there. I'm going to see if they have a, a cultural site anywhere. They got a lot of holy sites. Which is why they putting all that pressure. Mm hmm Yeah. Seeing other options uh, where we could... We could do something here. I'm looking for like an industrial one where you could sabotage production or a commercial one where you could get some money. He just doesn't have anything. Here's a commercial hub right there, Jinx. I think we might send him over there to the capital. <laughs> yeah, and there's the <laughs> entertainment district there. I don't know if there, I don't recall if I saw a mission there for that one. I hope he has a mustachio to twirl. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna send him there, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the, the spy going over there. Uh, so we're gonna he want. He does have a mustachio. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna want to send him to Istanbul, and these are all the different missions available, which we could have just looked in here, uh, just seeing. So we got the siphon funds, which that's the one we wanted to do. Uh, you can also gain sources. Spies will operate at two levels higher for 24 turns. The listening post increases diplomatic visibility by one level, uh, and then you can ferment unrest and neutralize the governor. Uh, but we've already decided we wanted to do the uh, siphon funds. That's what we'll be doing with him. And we have found oh my Norway. God, he's got tea. He's got tea. We gotta fight him. You know how we feel about <laughs> tea is England, guys. We gotta fight him. We're gonna have to fight him. Gonna take all your damn tea bags. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, so I wanted to see are we are there any other is this how many continents is this? That's what I want to know and also we have something here in government we can do uh, Maybe did we get something new here? I don't see anything new. No, nah, it has a little Thing though like we can do something there hmm. I don't know, let me, let's, let's do this first. Let's go and get a tech picked uh, Remember we kind of want to try and get steam power as quickly as we can uh, So we would need industrialization first, which I'm actually fine with getting Though, I think we were working on military science, weren't we? And didn't we get a bunch of tech so that we could get this damn oh, thing, so we get the red coat. coats? Yeah. So I think we were already, like, tied. We just, you know, got castles and <laughs> siege tactics to get this one, and it's boosted, so we kind of have to get it, guys. Yeah. We need the red coats, man. We need the red coats. Uh, so Jerusalem needs to produce something. Uh, so let's see what we want to get here. Probably need to repair some shit. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff that needs to get repaired. Uh, let's go ahead and repair the monument first. Since that one will be done sooner. And I think that's it. Unless we had something else. I feel like we had something else we needed to do. I oh, we got like a governor. We, too, but... we have a governor point. Uh, so the steward, we could get the. Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing there. I feel like we need to get right now. 
So let's instead get the one for the financer, which is the um, double adjacency bonus. Although it looks like we already have that one. Yeah, we're going to go the for two the plus gold. gold. That's right. We got this one last turn. Okay, so or the last upgrade. So we want to do the two plus gold per turn for each citizen in the city, and that should increase our money by a good little chunk. All right, so let's go ahead and enter turn. I feel like we're kicking ass, man. I know the Mongols are pretty powerful too. Yeah. And then, of course, we got the little buffer state of the Ottomans in between us. And then they've been split because they've lost their cities here. And so they've been split, and now they uh, have part oh, of their empire shit. over here. Yeah, that's Istanbul, mm -hmm. too, isn't it? Yep. Or in a market economy, however, yeah, it's the Ottomans. The individual has some All right, so we got mercantilism. And we need to... Well, it doesn't look gold like... gold card. There's a new one. In the gold? Yeah. What's gold? That one, the economic. Oh, economic. Okay. Uh, where? Oh, down here. Four plus gold and one plus faith from all trade routes. Hmm. That's pretty beneficial. Uh, but we're still trying to build a lot of wonders, so I'm True. gonna keep the wonder one. I think that'd be wise. Uh, and I guess that's it, unless there's something with diplomacy that we'd rather have. Uh, spy operations taking less time, I suppose, is nice. One plus gold from each of your envoys at city states. That's nice too. Just gonna get all the gold. Mm -hmm. I like a gold. I guess getting more uh, envoys first would be more useful then in that case. All right, so we now have increased trade route capacity. Uh, we have a unit available for promotion. This musketman who uh, took the city. Took the city. All right, so he's already got the ten plus combat strength when defending against range attacks. Uh, let's see what we want to get him next. No combat strength and movement penalty when attacking from a sea or river. I mean, how often do you use that? <laughs> but we do want to get to the urban warfare where we get the 10 plus combat strength when fighting in a district. Mm, yeah, that'd be good. Or is that just, oh, okay, that's just fighting when in a district. All right, so that's just defending. All right, you know what? We'll get the battle cry then. Never mind. I thought that was fighting against districts. All right, so again, we got mercantilism. Uh, do you know what mercantilism is? Of course not. So mercantilism <laughs> was the kind of uh, economic policy or economic theory of uh, the early modern times where they believed that there's a finite amount of wealth in the world. And so that every little bit of wealth that a country earns, they're taking that wealth from other countries, essentially. Uh, so like it resulted in uh, countries not wanting uh, their colonies to trade with anybody else because they felt like that everything the colony earned had to come back to the homeland. Um, they made the colonies buy stuff from the homeland. Uh, and that also resulted, resulted in col colonialism and imperialism because you know you had to go out and get that wealth. Unlike today where we believe that trade with other nations is beneficial to both countries. They didn't believe that. They believed everything you gave to somebody else was taken away from you. Uh, so it resulted in very, very different diplomatic policies when you compare it to today because of Mercantilism. Interesting. We got the Enlightenment available, which has already been boosted. Or we can move on to the next branch, which, as you can see, Mercantilism leads to Colonialism, which makes sense. Uh, so let's take a look. I don't remember what any of these give. I always forget. One plus many with cities with at least two specialty districts. That'd be a useful one. Uh, we don't really have a lot of economic slots, though. No. Most of our slots are military slots, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, so Enlightenment then leads to Nationalism and the opera. Let's see what uh, colonialism will get us here. Fishing boats gets extra production, two envoys, that's nice. Okay, yeah, there's some good good stuff there. I like the colonialism one. Uh, to boost that, you have to research the astronomy technology though. Oh, I don't see us doing that. What about civil engineering? You get the Statue of Liberty, Jinx. Well, we need that. <laughs> Build farms on grassland hills and plain hills. And then we get another governor title. And we can get the skyscraper policy, 15% production towards all wonders. So that's nice. Uh, so yeah, it's really, I mean, I could go for this one. Uh, it's a little bit quicker. I really like the colonialism one though. Yeah, I think we should go for that one. Yeah, they got some very good bonuses. And that production for the fishing boats is actually useful. Yeah, we'll go for this one. Although that's the one that takes the longest because we haven't boosted it yet. That's true. Let me just take a look, look at uh, how far away we're, we are from getting the astronomy tech. All right, so it's right there. Well, yeah, but we're not getting that next. Yeah. 
unless we really wanted that wonder there. <laughs> the party palace. I mean, I guess, man. We could always get another wonder for us. I suppose Stay we'll Stay the course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know we got a lot of stuff we're trying to get, guys. Uh, a lot of things that we're trying to get. Uh, so I, I guess we'll go. This one's boosted. We'll get it. Whatever. That's fine. And then we could maybe build the Statue of Liberty if we wanted to. Of course we want to. Uh, so we got the builder completed. Uh, so what do we want to get next? They just take so long to build everything here, man. Their it's production is garbage. in Athens. Yeah. They just want to hang out on the beach. Mm -hmm. Just lays about. Drink some margaritas. All right, so let's get ancient walls here in Athens. There's a few things I'd like to get. It doesn't look like we can get a new district, unfortunately. So we can only build buildings in the districts we already have. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do the ancient walls because they are kind of on the front line in a way. You know, somebody could easily not attack Nudingham and go after Athens instead. Uh, now I know that they have the encampment to help protect it, but if anybody attacked up here from the north, they would be wide open. Uh, so I think we should at least get some kind of defenses for them. All right, so the, uh, the siege tower. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he took <laughs> the hill on out. his own. Uh, let's just send him over here. Siege towers do what they want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just do what they want, Jinx. Uh, we have that trader here as well. So let's go ahead and get that route set up, maybe. I can figure out the buttons. All right, so we had decided on sending him down to Auckland. Begin route. Sure, they'll be very pleased. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, we're just going to put all these guys. I mean, we can move them up here, I suppose. Uh, and then we're just going to put them to sleep up here. Uh, this is going to protect Jerusalem because there's two places that they can attack unless they go across the sea, of course. Uh, and that's Jerusalem. You know, if we end up, and I'm talking about if we end up war with either of the two countries we share uh, this landmass with. Uh, so it's either, you know, Jerusalem that they can invade from or they can invade in here to Newtonham and Athens. So that's where we're going to keep our troops for defending, guys. Uh, so we'll just put these guys over here as well. Let's try and keep a defensive force around these parts. And fortify. All right, so we got the builder constructed here. Uh, what, we really need to get something for production. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get a lumber mill here. And chop down the jungle. Mm-hmm. Do we have the fish? Yeah, we got the fishing boats there. Uh, and the crabs. Yep, we got the crabs as well. Uh, so yeah, I suppose we should uh, go after uh, getting the uh, the lumber mill. Uh, so if we build it here, that'll keep the jungle around, which actually gives science bonus uh, to the uh, district there. So we do want to keep those around. So let's go ahead and build the lumber mills there. And we're going to get sheep. <laughs> Was that your ba? Well, it sounded like a. <laughs> sound more it's like a, a sad cat, little... <laughs> like a dying cat or something. It did sound like a dying cat. I'm concerned for those sheep. We met a new city state, city state of Fez, and uh, they want us to construct an industrial zone, and we found a new continent. Okay. Awesome. So that is going to be the end of the turn, and in fact, is also going to be the end of the episode, my friends. So we got Jerusalem, and uh, soon. I know that this is a lot of work just for me to be able to bring ships out of here, uh, but it's important to me, guys. So uh, soon we'll be able to get the canal here, uh, obviously several techs away, and then we'll be able to start bringing ships out of the sea of Mamara, Mamara and into the English Channel. And the English Channel has to be ours. It's the fucking English Channel, for Christ's <laughs> sakes. So we need to get like another city over here on the channel as well. Uh, and what I always like doing is I was like controlling these areas here, mm -hmm. like and so nobody can go through here, uh, and then it's our our channel. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, we got our got a few things done. We got Jerusalem, uh, got a new city, and things are going well. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do read and reply to all comments. Love talking to you guys. Uh, sometimes it does take us a day or so to reply, but we do read them all. Uh, so yeah, leave that comment and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.